Hello, let's take a look at two variations to my Hagrid deck. For the first deck, I'm using Orc as my main summon. As you can tell, I'm using low energy summon as the main so that I can spam it. Thunderbird can pair with mobile summons to maximize its effect. You will see its effect later on. So for this match, my opponent is using Snape and also the Weasley Twins. And in my team, my team is using a Phileas deck. Very good play from my partner destroying the opponent's cabin. Don't let the opponent get stronger in the later game. It's a good idea to summon Thunderbird once there's enough uh, of your summons out there. Okay, next, before I move on to my second variation, I'm gonna explain about Hagrid's passive. For his deck, his passive is only aimed at one summon card with the highest energy consumption. The main summon will get increased attack speed and survivability. So here's my second Hagrid deck. I changed my main summon to three monster books. 
and I replaced the Thunderbird with Inflating Charm. For this match, my opponent is using a Phileas deck and also a Hagrid deck. It's actually quite common for Hagrid's user to put the Fiend Fire as their main summon. And my team, I'm pairing up with Hermione user. Oh sorry, apparently for this match I didn't bring in the inflating charm, I brought in my thunderbird instead. Also take a good look at the, my partner who is using a Hermione deck. If you are using a Hermione deck, it's actually easier for you to destroy your opponent's defense such as eliminating their Cassandra or eliminating their other assist cards like Lottie or Kevin. Please do it early in the game as if you leave it to the late game, your opponent will get so strong that it's even harder and more challenging to defeat. She also uses her Avada Kedavra to defeat the Fian Fire, not to let it stay in the battlefield for too long because as it got uh, bigger, it can survive longer due to also uh, Hagrid's passive. Remember, one of the opponent is using a Hagrid stack. She chose to Ava Kadavra on the Fian Fire over the three monster book, which is a very smart choice. Fian Fire, if uh, survived longer in the battlefield, will get even more stronger and harder to kill if you let it stay longer. So the last match, final match, opponent is using Hermione deck and Newt deck. My partner is using Bellatrix deck. As usual, like I said, 
Okay, destroy opponent's defense, which is Cassandra most of the time. Just get this over with. Make sure I release all my monster book before I die. And yeah, game over. <laughs>